Hello everybody, Arin here. You're watching Mac Tutorial Films and today I'll be showing you how to use Time Warp in After Effects. And what this is is pretty much kind of like Twixter. A lot of people are if you were looking for uh, a similar method of Twixtering a clip, After Effects actually has a plugin that comes with it and it's called Time Warp. So, let's just drag our clip into the composition. And before we just uh, go, you know, jump right into the editing, uh, make sure your composition is double the amount of this clip, whatever you, whatever your clip is. So in this case, the clip is about three seconds. So if you hit Control K on a PC or Command K on a Mac, you bring up the uh, settings for your composition, and just make it uh, at least double. Or you can make it more. So I'm just gonna make it ten seconds. Come on. So now you have this much space, you know, when you slow-mo the clip, you can remap it. So let's just right-click, go to Effect, uh, go to Time, and then it should be under Time. And it should say Time Warp on the bottom. And when you bring up the effect, it'll automatically bring the speed down to 50%. And you want to bring it to up to 100, so it's the original speed. So we can find our specific spot right around here. So let's just start slow my. And this is pretty much, uh, if, if you see my t Twixer tutorial, it's pretty much the same exact concept. You just go to the effect, time, time warp, and then you just hit the timer for speed. Then you go to the next keyframe and then make it whatever uh, per speed percent you want. So I'm just going to make it 5 to give that nice. Uh, slow smooth look like that and then you just want to hit the key from again so it has a constant speed so from whatever you set it so in this case I have the speed is, is 5 it goes from 100 to 5 and then to 5 5 to 5 and then it goes back to 100 and then if you just do a little preview So as you can see, it's pretty smooth. And um, just in case, if your clip is really slow, let's say I just let's say I bring these keyframes over here. The video is gonna get cut off because it's the time bypasses the the, the what do you call it the block? I just call it the block, the block or the layer. And to fix this, all you have to do is right click, go to time, and enable time remapping, and you can just drag it over and that should fix it. Now one thing about Time Warp that's different from Twixer, Twixer has uh, a very smooth looking distortion. Uh, it doesn't over distort it like Time Warp does. Like, as you notice right here there's a lot of distortion and that doesn't look good at all. So the simplest way, I mean you can go into oh, whoop. you can go into Time Warp and then just go to tuning and then fix that but it's a lot of time consuming and uh, I mean, the the easiest way to do this, uh, to get rid of the distortion is just, you know, find the area where it starts distorting, like right here, and then just cut it off. That's me. All right. Just cut it off, and then pretty much bring in the original footage, and then let it start off from here, you know. And that's the easiest way you can do it. But other than that, guys, um, hope this helped. This is just a little overview of what uh, Time Warp is. And, yeah, if you have any questions, please ask in the comments section below or personal message me. Thank you for watching.